Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto, and today I'm going to show you guys the guide that I'm going to do or what I'm doing. Uh, you guys can follow along if you want to, um, but please use this as your own discretion. I'm only showing you guys this from my personal experience and what I'm going to do from, the f from now on into the future and why I think this method is really good. Okay, so first things first. I did this also at the start of when Chain Arena came out and someone in the comment section made, made a joke about it saying something along the lines of you you spend over 2000 mobox and still can't even rank you, you're still not on the leaderboard they made a joke about it and that really got to me right like it really got to me because yes I didn't rank in the games but at least I'm making a lot of passive income. And I kept showing you guys and kept showing you guys every time when I click on this mining hammer. The amount of mech you get from this is just ridiculous. And by the way, you, you can actually get a better ROI on, um, on Molan Defense. I didn't know that, uh, but I know Chains the Arena very well, so I'm going to rank for this as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, just showing you guys over here, 5.21 um, mech per 30 minutes, right? So if I go to my Excel sheet, the one that I made, uh, 5.21, this one is actually pretty higher, or, or a little bit higher because I, I, I bought a little bit more. And I'm getting 3,000 mech, right? 3,000 mech per month. That, that comes down to 237 mech or $237 per month that I'm making, or per season, that I'm making from Chainsy Arena. That is without ranking, that is without any, anything else. And I also have a minus here, minus 40, because that's how much the Battle Pass cost. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't buy the ba a Battle Pass this season. Uh, if I go back to the game, I didn't buy the Battle Pass this season. And I think I messed up a little bit, so I'm not going to buy it, right? I'm only level 19 right now. Uh, next, uh, sorry, tomorrow I should be 21. Um, I should be 21 level. But yeah, I'm going to buy the, uh, the battle pass every season uh, from next season onwards. And the reason being is because like you get so much material here, so much stuff to actually help you in the game. Now the ranking... The ranking that I'm getting at the moment is still not very high, right? 448, I'm getting 52 mech. Arena, I'm getting 6.5 mobox. But just keep in mind, 6.5 mobox per month. I'm still making, like, way more, in my opinion. Like, I have a better chance to make way more inside Token Master. Because, like, three, making, like, 2 or 3 mobox per week is, is pretty easy. Right, I do that pretty much every week. Um, so yeah, I would still be I would I would still be saying that I make more money inside Token Master. However, at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, if you if you take this money that you make from the game, just a passive income, and you you sell the mech, right? You sell the mech and you buy you get more mobox and you buy the cards, or you spend the mech to evolve your uh, your Zeus, for example, this guy right here. Look at this, 3,000 mech. Um, to evolve your Zeus, you will get stronger over time and you, you will rank better. You will get to a place in the game where you'll actually start ranking and earning Mobox and stuff like that. So I think at this very moment, this is the best place for me to start building up something that I wanted to do a while back. But because of someone making a joke about me doing it it really got to me it really did because yeah i just i just think it's it's dumb in it's a dumb investment right it doesn't it didn't make sense until i started buying the legendary dark zeus now the legendary dark zeus that i have here i bought it for third uh 320 mobox so if i go to my calculator over here i bought it for 320 mobox Mobox current price, you can see in the top, right, is 0 0.65. That's $208, right? How much 
cumulative points are we getting? It's it's 90 times 2, so it's 180 cumulative points times 1.5. I'm going to get 270 mech per season by just buying one red Zeus. Okay, so if I times that by a 0 0.08, roughly, it's $21 per season. Oh, by the way, when you buy that Zeus, you get half your cumulative points. Well, you get the cumulative points back as Mobox. So every 320 Mobox I spend, I get 180 Mobox back. So if you think about it that way, if I make $21 extra a month, I paid 300... Okay, I, the cumulative points I got was one... It's 90 times 2, so it's 180, right? So 180 times 0 0.65, that's 117. So I paid $208, and I, I'm getting 117 back. So, if I'm getting 117 back, it's 208, 208 minus, no, no, it's divided by, uh 117 no 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 wait wait wait, wait. we're getting 21 yeah, 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 yeah so the actual real number then is we're getting 180 180 back so 180 is what we get back and we paid um, uh, 320. So 320 minus 180, that's 140 Mobox we have to make. So Mobox price is 0 0.65, that's $91. So if I make $21 per season, per month, right? How long would it take to ROI? So 20, 91 divided by 21. Four seasons. It would take me four seasons to get my money back. Now, if you think about it that way, if you, if you really just think about it that way, you will, if you ROI every four months, just think about it this way. If you ROI every four months, we could say five months, it is pretty much close to 200% APR. Does that make sense? I really hope it does. Now, I do understand it's very expensive to get the ball rolling, but the thing is, once you start, you'll, get, you'll earn mech per hammer, per mining hammer. And that's the another thing that you guys could say, right? I'm paying 0 0.25 Mobox per hammer. But guys, you literally get the gold, the spirit, the books, and everything that is inside the chests pretty much for free, if you think about it that way. The equipment, the, the books, the spirit, the scrolls, everything you get here, you could, you could argue that the mining hammer is paying for all of that. So you could actually level up your characters efficiently and it is, it is really good, man. So in my opinion, it is better to get one game whether it's Moland Defense, Clash of Moland, or Chain Zero Arena, it has to be one of these three games. And invest a Mobox in that games the right way and build up an account and get passive income. Because at the end of the day, that is the only way you're going to survive on Mobox. You have to get mech and a lot of it over time. And how would you be able to do that? by investing a lot of Mobox inside one of the three games. If you want to go crazy, you could, you could go a little bit into all of them, but I figured out it's better to do one game at a time, get to a point that you like, move on to the next one. You can always use this mech that I'm getting here. I could always take this mech and just uh, you know go into Molan Defense and pump it up there. Nothing is stopping you from doing that. So I would say get one game that you're very, like, 
that you know at least decently well, one of those three I, three I mentioned, right? I would say it's Clash of Moland, which is the new game that came out, because you can earn passive income from it, from what I heard. I'm not too sure, because I haven't played it myself, to be honest, that much. You have Moland Defense, you have uh, 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 Chain Z Arena, Moland Defense, and... That is all. It's only these two. You, uh, oh, and Clash of Moland. It's only these three at the moment that you can really uh, invest into and uh, earn passive mech from. Mech is going to be... It's going to become extremely important. You guys need to understand that. It's going to become extremely important if you want to uh, grab, I don't know, a, a decent future for yourself on top of Mo Mobox. As long as the project doesn't tank or anything drastic happens, bro, it's going to be... Uh, mech is going to be the future. I can, I can tell you guys that right now. You can get your guys up so quick, so fast, uh, if you have the right mindset with the right cards uh, or the right towers, depending on what game you choose. So, yeah. But you, you have to understand that you have to invest into this at your own discretion. I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but I can say... It looking, it's looking really, really good for me so far. I can, I can clearly see why people invest into the games. Because, like, wow, man. Just by looking at this, I'm making $360 per month. By just getting passive income from mech. That is without getting ranked, without selling any items on any game out there. That is just purely passive income right there. It is absolutely crazy. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and uh, yeah, go check out the whole series that I made about this. Um, also, another thing that I really would like to mention is the fact that they removed, uh, they removed it where you, you lose your stars on the cards. Remember I told you guys if you go higher than 8 star, uh, it will, they will bring it back down to 8 star and you'll get like a lot of rewards. That's removed now. But to evolve, your, to evolve your cards right now is like three times more expensive. But you get to keep that card forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Also share this with some friends that uh, need to understand this. It is the best way that I could explain it. But yeah, hopefully you guys do understand. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.